Hey everyone, I want to talk about GitHub Copilot Chat. And more specifically, I want to talk about how we can use GitHub Copilot Chat and Infrastructure as Code. So today, we're going to look at some existing Terraform code and how GitHub Copilot Chat can tell us what it's doing. Because when we start any project, we kind of need a starting point and to know what our code is doing. Or maybe we're working with a new language and we're not as familiar with it. Now, GitHub Copilot Chat is also going to help us write some code today. So let's dig in and get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up my IDE. For me, this is GitHub Code Spaces, but for many of you, this will be Visual Studio Code. On the left-hand side, I'm going to click on the extension for GitHub Copilot Chat. When I click on that, I'm going to ask GitHub Copilot Chat to do something for me. First thing is, I'm going to ask it to write us a deployment script for an Azure web app service to go into Azure with deployment slots. Once it gives us this deployment script, I have a couple options. I can select to copy this script over, or I have this other option here that deploys it to where my cursor is in the blank file. And when I select that, it moves all that selected code over. I wanted to make some changes because the script wasn't 100% to how I wanted it. I want to change the tier to a basic tier. It will go ahead and do that. I'll select the exact block of code that I want to change and copy that over. Next up, I'm going to ask it to add some code comments into our code because actually I want the next person to understand why the script is doing what it's doing and also help them navigate it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that code into our Terraform script file. Now, now that we have everything where we want it to be in our Terraform script, I want to go ahead and look at one of my other files in my code base. Now, I think I have some bugs in my code, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and select some of the highlighted text that's deploying a website in my Azure web app. And I'm going to ask Copilot to see if it can find any bugs in my code. Now, fortunately, GitHub Copilot didn't find any bugs in our code, but that's not always true for everyone. So while it's really great that I don't have any bugs in my code, I do need to think about something else that's really important with every single bit of code I write, and that is tests. And writing tests can be hard and difficult for a lot of us, and sometimes really a pain point as a developer. So I can go into GitHub Copilot chat and do a slash and write tests, and it will go ahead and get tests for the selected code. The other option is I can just go ahead and ask GitHub Copilot to generate a unit test. And in this case, I'm asking GitHub Copilot test to generate a Terra test for me. So once it has the output, I create the new file, and then I select and put in my testing code in that space. Now that we've done all that, we've seen how GitHub Copilot chat can really help us in the IDE. So today we looked at all the great ways that GitHub Copilot chat can help us write better infrastructure as code. We start off with looking at how we can explain our existing code, how we can fix our code, and better yet, we are able to generate some new Terraform files using GitHub Copilot chat. Then we went a step further and wrote some great unit tests to test our new code. So I'm looking forward to hearing how all of you can leverage GitHub Copilot chat to write better infrastructure as code.